Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so to go to the Bahamas, you have to test, have a negative COVID test no more than five days before um, your trip. So five days before our trip is Christmas Eve. So there's no testing facilities aren't open. Testing facilities aren't open on the 24th or the 25th. So I'm taking one today, which is six days out to see maybe if I can use that. And then I'm also gonna take one on Sunday, just in case. But yeah, we'll see. Nope, oh. <sighs> oh, another window. All right, this is take two of a pre-travel COVID test. So the Bahamas changed their rules from five days out to 72 hours out. And luckily I had two um, COVID tests scheduled for CVS for, it was six days out because there's Christmas Eve and Christmas in between and they weren't doing testing. And then I had one scheduled for today, Sunday, which is three days out. So yeah, I am going to take another one and hopefully this one comes back in the morning and then I can apply for my health visa and just finish packing. So good vibes. Almost done packing, packing the GoPro, passport, just watching some Bahama videos and I gotta get all of that and a pair of shoes in my backpack because I'm just trying to take a carry on. This thing is full. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. So this thing is, is full full so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna finagle and get sandals, shoes, and toiletries in this backpack. Okay, I'm all packed up. Um, this is so jam-packed. This is so jam-packed, but my backpack is pretty light. I still gotta put my iPad in there, but um, I might roll some extra t-shirts in there just in case. I always like to have extra clothes, but I might save, save that room so I can like buy some stuff when I'm there, so. We're just, I'm ready to go, ready to go. Flight is at 8 a.m. in the morning, so yeah. See you soon in the morning. Yeah, I made it, only took me about 20 minutes. No traffic at 5 a.m. Um, but yeah, I'm doing the self park, so I just got my ticket. And yeah, I'm about to get my stuff and head to the airport. Shuttle's gonna pick me up somewhere, so I'll just keep a lookout and hopefully not too long, but this is a well-lit area. There's security, so I don't feel, this is like my first time doing self-park by myself, so see. <laughs>
Okay, so I got in yesterday, but I was so tired. I didn't even do a hotel tour and it was kind of getting dark. So I figured I'd do it today. So let me show you the room. Start at the front. It's got little closets. And well, there was, I had an iron my shirt this morning. So there's our bathroom. Nice. You got two beds. And they gave us this little gift. That's really cute. The rose petals. And then really high ceilings. So that's nice. Little desk. I got all my stuff thrown out already. Everywhere I'm making a mess. And then we're by the pool. So we have like this little patio set. And then that path goes over to the pool. So it's kind of private, but we can walk over there if we want. And they were playing like, I guess they probably think they have like bands or DJs like every night. So like last night for like two hours, there was like first a jazz band. And then I heard some people, they were like singing covers. So maybe tonight go out there and enjoy it. But yesterday I was just so jet lagged. I got up at 4 a.m and my second flight was delayed. I was in Charlotte for like three hours, so tired. And then got here an hour late. So I had to check in like in the middle of, you know, peak check-in time. So I had to wait like half an hour in line to check in. And then I walked around a little bit. So I'll probably have that footage. And then I, I passed out. I took a shower and I went to sleep, so. Yeah, so this morning I got up, went to the beach, had breakfast. It was very nice. So now I'm just waiting for my friend to get here. She's already on her second flight, so she should be here about noon. And then we can start playing stuff. I'm already looking at some uh, boat tours. I really want to go snorkeling, so that's one thing I'm definitely going to do. But yeah, so I'll see you later. Hotel is somewhere over here. I think it's over there. Yeah, the snail, the he latch on that part there. So they chop it here, take the knife and they jerk it. And they pull the snail out. Ah. And you, you can put it in the air and you can hear the ocean. <laughs> you hear it? You hear it? Oh yeah. And then let me show you another trick. <laughs> the one on that side. Yeah. Oh. Uh, here, there's a horn. I'm not a good blower. <laughs> yeah. It's a horn. So it's specially made. I can see they close it in. Close it, yeah. Yeah. That's good. So it's a horn. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. So there are about seven or eight of these conch salad businesses, but we were told by the locals they only eat at certain ones depending on references from friends, from family. So one place could have like 20 people waiting in line because it has a good reputation. And not even five feet away, another business could have zero people in line. It's all solely based on reputation. I'm from Idaho. Yeah. I don't know. Is it hot there? I don't know. It's, it's not cold. hot there. It's cold. It's probably now. snowing right, right now. now. Yes, yeah, okay. snowing right now. Is that a big state? I don't know. No. <laughs> so what, I mean, what do you guys potato? really do there? Woo! Farm. No. Farm, okay. I work at home. And corn? Corn or, 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 or animals? You, you brought any potatoes? Corn. Right, corn. yeah. Corn? Okay. <laughs> no potatoes. No potatoes. They want to let them bring it into the airport. Hi there, guys. <laughs> I don't remember which one we drank. Oh, well. <laughs> 
Okay. Okay. All right. Tell the Kong man, I think no. you are fucking what sport. Say just like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come. Thank you. Yo, what happened now? So after we ate, we headed downtown and we wanted to visit the straw market. It had uh, several different things you could buy, bags, souvenirs, t-shirts, um, but it was badly affected by uh, COVID and shutdowns. So only half the vendors were allowed inside each day. So that kind of cut their profits. I ended up getting um, a couple t-shirts from here, tie-dye t-shirts, and one of them I wore uh, for snorkeling. So definitely goodbye. Definitely visit Straw Market if you can. All right, I'm the bodyguard. All right, I'm the bodyguard. I won't mess with you. Like more little shops That's and stuff. Shop. Kind of like this says restaurant, oh, resort okay. where.
snorkeling. We want you to see the reef in its true perspective. We have had people go out on the reef after drinking and see stuff that is not there. So, in order for you to see the reef in its true perspective, you cannot drink until you're done with snorkeling. Okay? Alrighty, guys, no rush. Hurry up. Get off my boat. Let's go. Ooh. trip is that I was meant to be a pirate because I love being on the boat in the open seas and then I love drinking also so catch me on the next pirate ship We just did our COVID test. Test negative look like, but we'll get our results. Yeah. Oh, about 5 p.m. So happy. Got kind of scared a little bit, yeah. but uh, but we made it. We made it. So happy. So happy. So this was our last day in the Bahamas. It was rainy and cloudy. It had been perfect weather the whole time, so we were kind of okay with this. We were just kind of winding down, so we went next door to the Bahamas Resort. They had shops and uh, restaurants, so I grabbed a hot coffee. We walked around. They had a casino. 
Uh, we don't really gamble, or I don't really gamble, so we just watched other people play and looked at the lights. Um, this was in a wine and sushi bar. It's pretty cool, so I took a video. Um, outside they had lots of cool art installations and I recorded more you'll see later in the video and then we ended up finding this huge basketball court I don't know what Sierra's doing right there but maybe warming up because we did get to borrow a ball from the hut over there and put up a couple shots So later that night we walked back over because we saw a Thai place we wanted to try that was at the Bahamas Resort. Um, it was okay. Uh, it kind of We've kind of been eating the same things for the past week so we just wanted to try something new. That uh, espresso bobo tea was so good. It was a really bad idea because it was like 9 o'clock at night and I could not sleep after that. but. It was definitely something I had to try. 10 out of 10 would recommend. And then I got these vegetable dumplings. They were okay. And then we got, I think it was the drunken noodles and I got it with tofu. It was okay, I would say six out of 10. And then we walked around. There's lots of cool art pieces um, that we didn't see during the day and lots of kind of Instagrammable spots to try. So I got to get this right now. So earlier today I was just spacing out and I was having just like a random like daydream that I was in a bar and the owner was like, oh my gosh, we got to get more people in here. And I was like, well, what kind of people do you want? He was like, you know, the frat uh, boy parties. I was like, oh, well, you got to play uh, Sweet Caroline. That's their anthem. He's like, okay. And, and then he started playing it. So I had that song stuck in my head. And then we were walking through the hotel and what the fuck is playing? Sweet Caroline. Ba, ba, ba. And I just thought that was so funny. So I don't know if that's like so premonition or, you know, but you know, that was not a coincidence. At all. Here we are. <laughs>
Thank you.